How strangely the coronavirus has mutated, thought Mr. Smith when he was diagnosed with, well, the clap or Hong Kong flu, as you please. So we are talking about our old friend, the influenza A, hushed, aged three and two, hushed three and two, strain. So the media often calls it Hong Kong flu to make headlines scarier, their joke. So invoking memories of the 1986 pandemic. Here is why there, are, there is actually no need to panic. No, anyway, no need to panic. Despite the dramatic name, in all cases, no need to panic. So Hong Kong flu, I repeat, strain H3N2 has been circulating among humans forever over 50 years, 1968, yeah, at the very least, at the very least. It's, it's not something new or unknown. Humanity immune system has long been familiar with this uh, virus type. Over these decades, the vast majority of people have had it and recovered successfully. So we've got the immunity. Next, we know how to treat it. Treatment protocols for influenza A, H3N2, H3N2, let it be like this, are no different from treating any other seasonal flu. No, no difference. We also know how to manage complications like pneumonia, etc., if they arise, of course. It's just seasonal flu. The flu comes to us every God's year. It's usually a mix of three or four var variants. Uh, swine flu, for example, uh, H1N1, yeah. Hong Kong flu, H3N2, no, A, A type uh, flu. And why not type B flu? One year one dominates, another year a different one. So waves, waves of life. Uh, the fact that H3N2 might be predominant, this season is normal biological routine and not a catastrophe by any means. So why they scared them? So this is their job. Anyway, the H3N2 strain has one particular particularity, specificity, if you want. It doesn't indeed, it does, no, it does indeed run a slightly more severe course in young children, babies actually, and the elderly compared to other flu variants. It more frequently causes high fever and lasts longer. That's why doctors urge extra caution for it at risk, high risk groups, huh? chronic conditions, smokers, well, very good uh, moment to uh, quit smoking. You know, uh, metabolic syndrome people, etc., etc. So in conclusion, Hong Kong flu is just a scary historical name for the ordinary seasonal flu that visits us regularly. So how to protect? Wash your hands, ventilate rooms, get vaccinated if you want, if it's possible, of course, and don't go to work sick. There is definitely no need to fear, uh, to fear it as some new deadly threat. Okay, don't panic, don't worry, and stay blessed.